advantage. Welcome back, Spinning Mantis, Squirt Reynolds. And a purring stoofs, Astrid. Uh, Call of Cthulhu, resuming game. Hopefully the audio is okay. So. This looks like a pretty busted town. Go to the bar, talk to Bradley, and talk to Fitzroy. So let's Ooh, go to the bar first. Bradley again? So Bradley is someone in the bar who could give us some information, maybe. And then he said later, come up here to the Port Authority or whatever, and talk to Fitzroy, who I think is maybe the captain who brought us over. Hmm. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Okay, when I have it that loud, you definitely hear it echoing through the microphone. All right, turn it down a little bit. I'd probably go down here. It's so hard to get the audio just right. All right, so that's all I had to say. Just a joke around here. That suits me fine. else we can doesn't look like a normal lantern no it doesn't looks like a phantasmagorical lantern all right. were you supposed to pick it up or I don't think so there was no like a little signal on it oh that little white yeah Stink eye. You like not like our shoes or something? I was I just about Hey, be careful. I just about said he's gonna kick the chair out of him. Out from under him. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. My bar. In my bar. Um. Uh, the guy didn't. Share. Either this one or this one. The guy didn't show respect. So. This guy's got palsy. Oh, it tests our strength. This tests our eloquence. This tests. That's just the normal answer. And that's just a normal answer. I think we have eloquence. Let's see what. Let's see what our. I don't know how much strength we have or how much eloquence we have. I can't remember, and I can't get to the menu that shows that. Maybe we just say I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm good for this one. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. Yep. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. And I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Okay. Uh, I guess we can do all these pretty much. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name it reminds us of the golden age of dock water, when our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales he'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Okay. What can you tell me about? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. 
Okay. This, if it's not speaking ill, it's true, I guess. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Okay. I've got what I need. Anything else? Wait, do we just do all the Sarah Hawkins? Tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on then. I think there was one other one that it's true that they were strange. No, we did that one second. Oh, really? Her yeah. style made her famous. Yeah, her yeah, style tortured. So they made you feel. You need to. I've got what I, I need. That. Anything else? Right. Now uh, we yeah. can go. And Find out about Dark Water or I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Oh. That That's the one first okay. one we did. Okay, we found out about dark water first. Let's go. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? So obviously it's that lady smoking a cigarette, I think. Mm -hmm. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. The Hawkins Warehouse. Yeah. Mm. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Mm. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? He's all about saying no more. <laughs> Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Back. Oh, come on. Because it's of a funny, little like, tussle. his accent isn't Boston except when mm -hmm. he says his age. I'm mm -hmm. privileged to whoever I want. Anything else? Guess that's that. That'll be all for now. So we didn't pick a fight, though. We chose to, like... I mean, you did kind of pick a fight because we're we not said he over. started it. Uh, but, okay. So I guess we can't talk to that guy. Um... Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. What does that say at the bottom? Mrs. Baker, always free f for the lady. Gotcha. All right, I'll turn around slowly. Okay. Some harpoons. <laughs> harpoons. All right, so I guess we can't talk to the guy we were hassling. I guess we can just kind of... The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. All right, do you want to read that one? Sure. The Shanty, 21st May, 1847. Miraculous catch. The Sila returns to port to save dark water from famine. We'd given up hope. The crew of the 
silo, or what remained of it, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the kraken that... Cetacean? Oh. Well, maybe you should read it then. <laughs> the crustacean that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and part of it were hanging over the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. Mm. There's no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marcus is putting up his warehouse for rent for June. Fishing workshop for storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper visit on the docks, especially even at the stranded whale. And then they're gonna... Party? Party. Whale party. That was like an 18-something. Okay. That girl doctor. One of them lady doctors I done heard about. They just don't stop singing. Hmm. Nightmares ears. Can hear things and voices whispering. We'll follow the familiar and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. What's wrong with his hands? Yeah, and also, like, why were the subtitles of the incidental talk in the background and not what he was saying? Looks like he's got runes carved into his hand. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. We'll follow its reader and appear at various locations. To be able to hear that? Gifted with its own consciousness. Yeah. Well, then that's when the guys started talking reader. to you. Right. Hmm. Yeah. All right, well, I guess so. Ah, that. That's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Okay. So it doesn't look like we can actually talk to him. Mm-mm. We can just listen to him. Talk to himself. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. The EPA. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stock. <laughs> you <could see. laughs> there were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. The miraculous I saw the newspaper catch. clippings. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. <laughs> Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything well, happened just as it says in the newspaper rubber. report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Okay. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. 
Yeah, and his neck was pretty. Oh, hey, girl. What you looking at, stranger? You care what we say? No. The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm That's wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Beat it. All right. So, Bradley. I didn't see anybody named Bradley, did you? Mm-mm. We talked to them. We talked to the mysterious woman. We talked to the sailors. We couldn't talk to the people from the asylum. Um, or the book guy. Or the, we couldn't really talk to the book guy. Yeah. I guess he's so lost in thought. Hmm. Nightmares. Can yep. hear things and voices whispering. We'll follow. Uh, maybe it's not here. Where you talk to? Gifted with its own consciousness. The name of the the bartender. Hmm. You again, Roy Mitchell. That'll okay. be all for now. And then we can't talk to that guy. Interesting. All right. Let's take a look and see if... Um, go to the bar. Does it say... The port's bar. A little pick-me-up. Carcass of a whale. I can look and see what the local cops... Yeah, so it doesn't really say who Bradley is. Oh. So, what is it? We've got three strength, only two eloquence. Maybe if we had chosen strength, it would have worked better or just done nothing. Um. Okay. So that's our only clue. Roy Mitchell. That's the name of the guy. All right, it's a good place to stop this one. Uh, join us next time for more Cthulhu. Bye.